Welcome back to the horrors of falling through space and time. Okay, so now we're here, and we've got our warp device. We defeated the monsters in the fortress and got the warp device. There we go. So now we go on a wonderful little mission to basically find some warp devices. I believe our first one is... Oop. Just car. And there we go. And then let's just go here. Okay, so now we've got a new destination. We need to get into that cave. I'm just going to save. I haven't done that in a while. Nice little spring to spawn Ditto. Oops. Ooh, there's a nice collage of enemies up here. And freeze people through gravity. Very high up now. Whew. On the brink of falling off the map. <laughs> uh, crossbowman. I'm pretty sure he hit me, but yeah, it doesn't really do a lot of damage. It's more of an annoyance. You fight a cluster of enemies and there's some guy at the back just pinging a crossbow at you. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. Now, if all crossbowmen were equipped with the atomic bow, that would be horrible. Yes, please. Yeah, I realise my inventory stocks... Well, they're good, don't get me wrong, but they could always be better, right? So, yeah, we're just uh, taking our time a bit here. Eh? I'm taking any unnecessary risks. You see, I was getting slapped by the big ogre. Nope. This bit. Is it this bit? I think it is. It starts to get horrible after a while. And these guys, if I'm not mistaken, they keep spawning. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, sorry, it's repositioning. There we go. Yeah, you can actually fall off it, which is quite horrible. <sighs> scared the first time that happened to me. But we're going to bypass everyone here because um, uh, it gets a bit hairy in a minute. Nah, not today sir. Not today. Are we just chilling there? It's going to ruin its day. down these steps and further ruin it's there. Ugh. Man, I've lost my touch. Must be getting thirsty. Kick you down. But yeah, if you wait here long enough, eventually meteors start raining down, which is kind of horrible. But we're not going to hang around for that to happen, because 
That was horrible. Into the cave. Ooh. Ooh. This is an evil place. And a place that I lost an awful lot of health as a child. Yep. Full of wizards, spikes, bats and lava. If you haven't quite mastered your jump mechanics yet, you will you will have done after this. Yellow key, thank you. I don't think you have to kill those wizards, but you never know. Could have been an item drop. Bats. Bats, bats, bats. No, correct way to jump down. Could jump down there, but I think you go to the side first. Just hoping you take care of that bat, really. But oh well. Ooh, a mango. Or orange. Ugh. Don't you just hate it when there's a bit of food in front of someone that you want to hurt? And all they do is block. Okay, green key. Good, we need that green key to get through that door, obviously. Well, this is like a rumble of fun, doesn't it? There we go. You guys can be set on fire. I'm going to call our favourite friend back. We can clean house for a while. Now, very interesting thing happens in this part of the game. We get one of those infinite engines kick in. And guess what enemy an infinite amount of appear? Bats. Lots of bats. Which is good if you're running low on spirit power, because bats occasionally drop mangoes. All you got to do is just crouch. Oh, there's a crossbow. Not quite sure how a bat got that down this digestive system. Considering the thing is uh, a lot larger than a bat. But yeah, they'll just keep on coming, so we could stay there, but it's a kind of pointless endeavour, really. Okay, so we got our key. We're going to go through our door. Yeah, I remember getting stuck on this um, ages ago when I was a kid. Because it was... Uh, for some reason, I didn't kill... No, I did kill all the enemies, I just forgot to sort of look at the map after I did that. And uh, if you look at the map after you kill the enemies, chances are it will change, because it makes this sound. So that happens, yep, brilliant. And then, this happens. And for some reason, you're supposed to know that that appears. Red key. Which obviously we'll need to get to the boss at the end. And I have no idea where that red key is. And in the next section, you're probably going to hear me swear a lot. So little kiddies turn away. Because the next section will make you lose a lot of health. Because it's jumping puzzles! Yay! Ugh. Right, we'll stop it here guys, and I'll see you all in the next part. Thanks for tuning in so far. Next part, we jump across some stuff, and then go through a big red door.